General Studies, 2, Topic, Bilateral, Regional and Global Groupings and Agreements Involving India and Slash or Affecting India's Interests Indo-Pacific Balance That Shangri-La 1 Introduction The Shangri-La Dialogue SLD is an intergovernmental security forum held annually by an independent think tank, the International Institute for Strategic Studies. The Shangri-La Dialogue has evolved into a key strategic gathering of the Asia-Pacific region. It is attended by defense ministers, permanent heads of ministries and military chiefs of Asia-Pacific states. Much more so than in 2017, the Indian Ocean loomed large over 2018 Shangri-La Dialogue. To Prime Minister Narendra Modi's address The keynote address by Prime Minister Narendra Modi proved an important opportunity to highlight India's perspectives on regional security dynamics. The main message was his articulation of India's vision for the Indo-Pacific region. The idea of the Indo-Pacific as a single strategic space is an outgrowth of China's growing influence in the Indian Ocean region. It signifies the interconnectedness of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, the importance of the oceans to security and commerce. 3. Indo-Pacific Framework Indo-Pacific is a natural region ranging from the shores of Africa to that of the America. Increasing use of the term Indo-Pacific recognizes India's centrality to global influences. A stable secure and prosperous Indo-Pacific region is an important pillar of India's strategic partnership with the United States. The emphasis shown by the U.S. on the Indo-Pacific can be termed as its strategic initiative towards India. The Pentagon has already begun using the new term in the U.S. official documents. The U.S. military has renamed its Pacific Command to U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. This shows the rising significance of India in America's strategic calculations. ASEAN is one of the crucial building blocks of the Indo-Pacific. The United States, India, Japan, and Australia, the Quad Group, is emphasizing Indo-Pacific as a new strategic space. For India's old today, India plays a key role in the Pacific, East Asia and Southeast Asia. Act East policy is aimed at substantial improvement of India's relations with Southeast Asia. India is also trying to make innovative use of trade and diplomacy as its strategic arsenals. 5. Why Indo-Pacific Region? Maintaining regional stability. Strong ties with the U.S. are seen as a vital tool for enhancing India's strategic posture. For the long-term vision of national interest. Insights Mind Maps www.insightsinindia.com Page to www.insightsas.com China's increasingly active presence in the Indian Ocean region as well as its efforts to expand geopolitical reach in Asia and beyond by the use of trade and military. In the present time, the control of sea lanes and ports would be the game changer. China seems to have taken the lead with its geopolitical project the Belt and Road Initiative BRI. For adhering to freedom of navigation, adherence to rules-based order and stable trade environment. For free sea and air lanes, connectivity and upholding international rules and norms. Six concerns slash challenges China is keeping a close watch at India's engagement through strategic dialogues, military exercises and security agreements with many Indo-Pacific countries. China's military build-up in the South China Sea and its sweeping territorial claims across the strategic waterway. 7. Way forward of sea and must form the geographic core to any Indo-Pacific architecture. India must increase its strategic alignment with the U.S. in order to balance the security concerns emanating from China's aggressive stance. Build up of India's naval capabilities, if India has to emerge as one of the main players in the Indo-Pacific. Freedom of navigation, unimpeded commerce, and peaceful settlement of disputes in accordance with inter-